Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And people ask me this all of the time. And they ask me, should I develop on a laptop or a PC? And really, it kind of answers its own self. Because you've got to imagine what type of game you're going to be creating. And what I always say to people is one golden rule of advice is, depending whether you're going to build an application for a mobile, for a console, for whether it's 2D, 3D, high-end, low-end, whatever that may be, find a game which is similar to what you aspire to achieve, whether it's not the actual game that you want to create or similar. Maybe an art style that you like, maybe a, say you want to make a 3D couch copy game, which is quite lightweight, but casual for a lot of players. Look at something like Overcooked, check out the actual requirements that require you to play that particular game. If you want to make a really high-end console game and that is the aspiration, what requirements do you need to play, I say a Battlefield on PC or a Call of Duty on PC? If you're going to make an MMO style game, look at something that corroborates that style of game that you're going to create. If you're going to be developing a mobile game, you most computers, laptops, PCs, whatever that may be, will be suitable even without a graphics card in there. Also very much dependent on the type of game that you're going to create. If it's a 3D game with higher end graphics, you will need a dedicated graphics card. If not, you could have a PC or a laptop, which has just got the built-in graphics performance in the CPU. A laptop or a PC is really dependent on your ideal workplace and how you tend to work if you do maybe a lot of traveling a laptop might be more your way if you're stationary a lot of the time a desktop pc might really suit you you could have a bigger monitor because laptops might not has a bigger screen you want two monitors yes you could plug screens into your laptop but it just very much depends on you as the person i have both laptops and pc i use my pc predominantly because I use it from a fixed position and the PC tends to be more powerful because you can get a, a more, let's say a cheaper higher end graphics card than you can which is integrated into a laptop. There's no one fast way to say that there's one is better than the other. It's about finding the specifications that suit your development needs and suit what you need in the future. But most things, especially for Unity, will work on a low end laptop with four gigabytes of RAM, it can be a low-end dedicated graphics card and just a, a generic quad-core CPU. And it's very similar across the board in the PC side. If you've got engines like Unreal Engine, it might require something a bit more beefy because the editor in itself is a little bit more hard to run than Unity by default. So be sure to come and check out my Patreon if you want to get scripts, projects, and everything I do from there. So come and have a chat to me on Discord as well. Come and check out my great assets on the Unity Store and thank you so much for watching. And leave any comments down below if you've got anything that you want to add. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.